okay to be ordinary from Deirdre Purdy in West Virginia, printed in Growing Without Schooling 39. Thoughts on super kids and guilt in Growing Without Schooling 33 and 36. Number one, when I have written GWS, I always find, as I describe the children, how good they sound on paper. Of course, I emphasize the positive, not to brag or hide the truth, but because that is the point of the letter. We are more likely to be writing with the good news about homeschool, less likely to be describing our child with many interests and ideas but little follow-through, or so busy talking he can't listen, or any ordinary kid. Second, and John, don't you have a bias toward the positive also? So your newsletter encourages discussion of the positive rather than the negative aspects of child raising and educating and emphasizes solutions over problems. And who, as editor, could fail to print the stories of the homeschooled child who runs her own bakery, writes a symphony, goes to Harvard? Of course, it's a mistaken attitude to feel lessened by others' accomplishments, but who has never been guilty of it? But I want to make my big plea for this. It's okay to be ordinary, living your days out well and happily without newsworthy accomplishments, just every day going forward, living and learning. Jed, at nine, is the main local Dungeons & Dragons dungeon master, for which he prepared himself by diligently studying many arcane and abstruse texts. Hannah taught herself cursive and is an excellent housekeeper. But how many other projects are strewn behind them, unfinished and picked up by me? How many hours spent reading Nancy Drew, The Hardy Boys, Adventure Comics? And how many hours spent fighting with each other, spacing around, helping us, and, in air quotes, helping us? Sometimes a project has their complete concentration, but that might as often be a two-day monopoly binge as anything that could be shown, like a finished product. And in all of this, they are very like me. When I was in school, I was whipped to a frenzy of producing papers, book reports, posters, projects, and especially good grades, as well as holding offices and joining clubs. 80% was for show. Let them be unproductive. I rejoice that they can entertain themselves all day, every day. And I have every expectation that as they mature, their application and ability to carry through their schemes will mature also. But now they are children. I urge other parents not to berate themselves or their children because they and their children are only ordinary. Let us freely admire those who produce while allowing ourselves and others that it is also all right not to. John Holt replied, About being positively oriented, I admit it. Today, when the headlines daily shriek new dangers and disasters, there seems no point in using scarce space in GW West to tell people that things are tough all over, and specifically that children are passionate, temperamental, changeable, impulsive, proud, and strong-willed, and that as a result of these qualities, which I do not consider vices, are often unreasonable and difficult. We all know this, and I have been saying it for years. Nor have I ever been in the business of saying that children who have certain clearly visible and impressive accomplishments are better than others. If readers cannot avoid making such comparisons and pecking orders, that is their mistake and their problem, and we accept no responsibility for it. As we have said before, we have a very practical reason for printing all the good news we can find about the doings of children. We homeschoolers have to contend with two extremely popular ideas. One, children can do nothing good since they are no good. And two, children may occasionally do something good, but only if some adult makes them. In every way we can, we will continue to show that these ideas are wrong. So, please keep on helping us do this by sending us all the good news you can find about your own or other kids, and we will print all we can find room for. We are, in a way, a big family, so let's all rejoice together in the accomplishments of our children. Of course, if you have real problems, tell us about those too, so that together we may find remedies. But it is in no way a problem that your child does not happen to have done something or other that some other child has done, whether that be writing a song or playing the tuba or getting into Harvard.